Hello everyone, John it again. And here we are on a Tuesday morning and we got an eastbound train on the Cincinnati Eastern Railroad. This is a good one. They're going all the way out to the end of the line today. They've got one car for uh, Peebles at McCoy Lumber. They've got about a half a dozen covered hopper cars for Winchester Ag. They've got some rock cars for Plum Run. And they've got some storage cars to move also, some flat cars. But we got a good train. We've got an SD40-2 leading with a GP15-1. It'll be the number two unit. So we're gonna catch them up here. Catch them a couple times and watch them do some switching, some railroad switching. So go ahead and start the video, son. Here we go. All right, here they come. the rock cars. These gondolas and hopper cars are used to load rock. They stay on this line. They use them on the rock shuttle and they never leave this line. Right, there they go and they got in the train device on there too oh that was a good one we're gonna go up here and catch them again somewhere got the live action keep it going and the farmers are out there already breaking up the ground after they harvested their crops look at that all right here we go but wait there's more we're gonna get the other side of the train this time let's get the engineer side and 
I'm just on the east side of Winchester and the area that I'm at, this is a really cool spot, but they've totally changed this whole area around. Look at this. They've done some regrading. This was a farm field. They put this big ditch through here. Route 32 is just straight ahead over that way about a quarter mile. And they've put this drainage ditch right through this farm field. There was a big barn that stood right there. A really cool looking barn. It's gone. The road's been changed over here. Look at that. They've made the road go off to the right. It used to go around to the left, right next to the railroad track. It's a real narrow one lane road. So this area has been totally rechanged, regraded. And that's been done recently too. Wow, I didn't know they were gonna do that. I hate that barn gone, it's a really cool barn. We've got the train coming right now. Come from that direction. So let's find a good spot to get them. All right, I hear them coming. I think it's been maybe four or five days since the train came through here. They got six cars for Winchester Ag. Right, there they go let's go up here and catch them again it's starting to warm up now can't believe it it's already up to about 44 45 degrees something like that so it's gone up almost 10 degrees since i first got up this morning 
I had frost on my windshield, I had to scrape it. Okay, let's see what else we can do. Okay, so they're still building the road this way. This is interesting. I had no idea they were doing this. Here's the old road right over here. And I got a feeling it's going to be dead ended down here. Let's go up here and have a look. Looks like I can still get through. Yep, still passable. All right. I thought I was going to, to turn around and go back a different way. Oh, they're getting ready to do some more work. Get out the road. Train's right over there. Okay, a major construction job on that road. That's interesting. I had no idea they're going to do that. Oh, wow, I'm kind of slow. They're already backing onto the uh, Winag lead. Look at this. They've already made the cut and um, switched the track. So they're backing onto the Winag lead right now. Set these cars off. And that car right there, that's the conductor's car. The train operates with one person on the train, the engineer. The conductor uses a car to do all the switching, um, uncouple, whatever, get the derails, line the tracks, everything. Get gates. I don't know if they're picking up anything or not. I'm at three cuts made ahead. Three ahead. I don't, I don't think they're picking anything up.
righty, so they're coupling the train back together. They're going to continue heading east. They got another car to set off in, um, in Peebles, and all these rock cars take out the plum run. Cool live action. All right, here we go. Another rail fan today. I don't know if they're leaving that gone. That gone's supposed to go to Peebles. I heard them say that they um, that they were missing a. Oh, what was it again? Let me think here. A pin. Comes from the coupler. Heard them say that on the radio. Maybe that's why I leave it there. I'm not sure. I Googled it right after they said that. I hate to say it, but I'm not really familiar with that. But, um, let's see. They can replace those with plastic ones, temporary. Before rock cars, before. Or... If they've got like one with them, they can put it in. I'm no expert on this. Well, maybe they're going to put that car on the end. They might do it that way.
got a truck coming. That's one of the Winchester Ag guys. I wish that tree wasn't there. Let's go back over here again. I got too many obstructions. You got the tree, the truck, everything. All right, so they're getting ready to back into the uh, wind egg spur again. I think it's what they're doing. They're probably just putting this gun on the other end of the train. So it was on the front. Stretch them. Good stretch, three step, 35 miles. Three step. That's what they're doing. They're just moving that gone from the front to the back of the rock cars. W used to be a whistle post here, one of those cast iron ones, really old one. It's in some of my videos. I wish that was still there. <clears throat> that was pretty neat having it there. Okay, they're dropping a three step and they're continuing east. All righty, here we go. Let's go up there and see where they go to. Follow them up to the next stop here. I'm parked way down this way at the park. There they go. This house over here next to the tracks used to have dogs, um, Dobermans or whatever, I, I forget. But they took the fence down, dogs are gone. They're in a bunch of my videos. But wait, there's more, I'm at Mount Zion now. 
got the old Norfolk and Western color position lights there. They've been shut off for a long time. Somewhere, I don't know, close to 20 years. I gotta look at my records. I've got the um, information back home. I kept track of all that in the notebook if I can figure out where I put it. This all look kind of cool going past these. Right, there you go that's a good train a little bit shorter without those uh six covered hoppers but still that's a good one a lot of rock cars on there so i'm gonna go up to seaman it's the next stop see if i can catch them up there somewhere live action going on oh look at that shot is that cool or what Alrighty, downtown Peebles, here comes the train. That's McCoy Lumber right over there. There's their siding to the left, way down that way. Ah, one car rule got me.
All right, there you go. Just went past mile post 72. And um, Plum Run is at mile post 74. So they'll have to set those cars off at Plum Run. On their way back through here, that last car is on the train, that gets set off here in Peebles when they come back. And the cars that are on the siding, they'll pick up. They'll pick up the loads and set off that empty on the return trip. Well, weather turned out perfect here today. It was cold this morning, but now it's up uh, probably about 52 degrees. Can't believe it. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you have time, watch another video. Your views really help my channel, helps keep me on the road. So check out my steam trains or my street running trains. I got street running trains from six or seven different states, a bunch of different cities. Those are the really cool ones, at least I think so. All right, we'll see you later. Coil lumber. Look at Chessie. I'm trying to get the mower going so I can blow some of these leaves around the yard. See, I'm on the mower. Chessie jumps up here. Live action. Hey there, right, Chessie. That's a good dog. She wants to ride on the mower. I can't believe that. She'll probably jump down when I start. It's going to be too noisy. See, I'm blowing the leaves over. I already did this side of the yard, and I'm blowing them over that side. And I got to rake them up along the edges. Hi, Jesse. That's a good dog. Good, loyal dog.